Hi, this is Don, the owner of Don Anthony Realty. I just wanted to come to you again this month to show you what's going on in the market, uh, in the Charlotte market, the Charlotte region market. Uh, this information was provided by the Carolina Multiple Listing Services, and I've just uh, taken it and kind of put it into some graphs and uh, data, and uh, so you can get it a little bit more, a little bit more information. And just wanted to create this video uh, to present it to you because if you're looking at buying a home in Charlotte or selling a home in Charlotte, uh, it's great to know what's going on in the market. So here we are for the 90-day rolling average inventory. It's the first graph that I've got here. This shows the number of months of inventory, meaning the number of the amount of time it takes uh, on average for a home that's uh, that's on the market. Um, now what this says is that uh, you can see here this blue line indicates 2008. The red line indicates 2009. 2010 was a little bit up and down, which is not surprising given that we had a a uh, large decline in inventory due to a tax credit. And you can see here, this is 2011, this uh, purplish line, uh, that we're relatively stable here. A little bit lower than last year, not nearly as high as we were in 2009, but not quite at the 2008 levels. So we're still a little bit running a little bit high in inventory. We're here in the uh, 13 to 14 months of inventory level. I would like to see that down closer to the 2008 levels uh, before we had the dramatic increase in inventory. Um, so not looking too bad. The nice thing is, is again, we see a, a typical decline in this, uh, this time of year uh, of inventory, and we'd like to continue to see that. Uh, one of the other things that's interesting is this shows the kind of the confidence in the market and we're seeing right now that still people are not that confident, still not putting their home on the market uh, like they were previous years. This orange line shows the number of homes in 2011 uh, each month that have gone on the market and uh, we're still below the four previous years in terms of the number of months, of, or, I'm sorry, the amount of uh, new homes uh, that are going on the market, new properties that are going on the market. So still pretty low and so I'm hoping hoping to see more confidence in the market. I'd love to see this increase more, but uh, right now we're still still seeing a little bit of hes hesitation for people to put their home on the market. A uh, number of homes that are going under contract, pending sales means the number of homes that are, are pending to be sold, just about to be sold. Uh, they have gone under contract, so a buyer has put a contract on a home. Uh, we can see this increasing, which is typical this time of year. Not nearly like it was last year. This blue line indicates last year, but again, because of the uh, tax credit that we had uh, at the beginning of 2010, uh, that did spur a lot of growth. And so I would expect this number to continue to increase uh, in April and May uh, as it has previous years, uh, but uh, not to the extent that it did last year. So we can see it kind of leveling out there. The amount of homes that sold uh, actually in uh, in April of 2011 uh, is less than what it was the prior year. Again, because of that tax credit, I expect that uh, it's not going to be nearly like it was. But again, we're not going to see probably the decline. It'll be more kind of a more normal curve, I expect. So I expect it to go up uh, next month and then maybe start to go down a little bit as it has the previous years. You can see how it goes down uh, typically after the summertime as it has passed. Interest rates uh, for uh, April went up a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit lower than, uh, a little bit higher than I'd like. Again, this is the, the federal level. And actually, I, I saw an information that actually in the Charlotte region, we're actually at the lowest level we've been all year. So um, it's a little bit different than what you can see here on the graph. This is showing more the overall trend uh, So for nationwide mortgage rates, and it's a little bit higher. This is a new graph that I uh, saw. They actually did a lot of uh, great work in the Carolina Multiple Listing Service this month with regard to data. And uh, this is a new one that's out there that shows the uh, number of lender-mediated homes for sale. I just wanted to show it this month to show you kind of what's been going on in the market. Lender-mediated basically means foreclosures, short sales, uh, any type of loan that's a, a home that's really in a distress, a distress type of situation. And you can see here back in 2005, 2006, and it wasn't until mid-2007 where we started to see an increase in this activity, and it was dramatically increased. You can see here you're running about 500 or so properties here, and we're all the way up to 2,500. So this gives you a good indication of what's been going on in the market. But the nice thing is is that we see a decline here. We're starting to see more of a sell-off of homes that are in that type of situation rather than the homes coming on the market. So more homes are being sold than being coming on the market for the lender uh, issues. So that's good news for the market. Anyway, my name is Don, again, with Don Anthony Realty. If I could be of any assistance to you, please don't hesitate to call. Website is DonAnthonyRealty.com, and you can reach us at 704-644-1467. Thanks. Have a great one. Take care.